Now imagine <laughs> this, getting to meet one of the Star Trek commanders from the Enterprise or one of the hobbits from Lord of the Rings. Be pretty incredible, right? You can do that, though, and more this weekend at Indiana Comic Con and the Indianapolis Convention Center. Carlos Diaz currently geeking out there live for us right now. And Carlos, this event draws tens of thousands of fans every year. It's huge. Yes, Ben, I know you're a big Star Wars fan like I am, so stick around because at the end I want to find out what toy you want because look at these action figures from Star Wars that they have up here. They have Darth Maul, they have some Stormtroopers, uh, they have a, 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 not, that's not C-3PO, that's a different kind of uh, protocol droid. You have all these, you have Luke with Yoda on the back, you have C-3PO with his arms in the air. I think Chewbacca's look better. I think he went through the dryer on this one. But you can see all the fun that they have here at Indiana Comic Con. Get over here, Jamie. Jamie, of course, one of the PR people in charge of all this, and this is a big event every year, and and this year some of the guests you have, you have Sean Astin, who is big because because a yes. one he yeah. was in Lord of the Rings, b he was also in Stranger Things as well, yes. and c here's some Indiana trivia for you, he is in Rudy. That's what there you go. So there you go. So there's some of the guests you have, you have Sean Astin here. You have some of John Frakes from Star Trek. Mm -hmm. you, that's what brings people out as well. Yes, absolutely. They are a big draw for all, a lot of our attendees. Yeah, and you can see we're showing you some video right now of uh, some of the uh, last, you know, last year's uh, Comic Con and past years. Mm -hmm. It's how many thousands of people are we talking about? Uh, last year we had about 40,000, and we always like to estimate that we'll grow, keep growing. Mm -hmm. So hopefully a little bit more this year. And do you have to dress up or no? Oh, no, absolutely okay. not. You can come, be comfortable. You just, we just want you to enjoy yourselves. But a lot of do people like to dress up. Three-day pass is how much? $60. Okay, and it's for $30 for today, $40 for tomorrow. And then 30 again for Sunday. There you go. Those are all the prices. And, guys... Uh, ben, as we go back to you, I want I want you to, to which which uh, which one of these figurines did you like the most, Ben? Oh, uh, yeah. I like mean the, the C three PO. The I, I gotta go with Luke, Lando. man. I mean that's just classic. Okay, there we go. One that you probably won't go with, that no one's gonna want, is this Jar Jar Binks patch. What is this doing here? Come on, you can't <laughs> give these things away. Back to Carlos, you guys. as you said that, our Chuck Lofton, the man, the myth, the legend, says he likes Jar Jar. So maybe we need to get no, on board. Chuck! Chuck! <laughs> no! No! We'll check back, pal. <laughs> Thank you very much.